Hello, my name is Dr. Martin Shikola. Students call me Dr. C, and I teach Project Lead the Way engineering classes here at the Center for Advanced Technical Studies. Uh, I'm going to provide you with some ex expectations that go across all of my classes. If you're not familiar with Project Lead the Way uh, engineering classes, they are considered a premier pre-engineering program because there are many universities and colleges that will give transcripted credit for classes completed in high school. Go to pltw.org partners for the schools that do this. Towards the end of the semester, I will be sending out emails regarding uh, the options that I recommend for doing this. Typically, the process does require, though, that uh, you pay uh, for these classes. The classes that I've taught that I teach are IED Introduction to Engineering Design. In this class, students learn about the engineering design process. They also learn how to use a 3D CAD system called uh, Onshape. Okay. We're going to have a lot of really cool projects, such as the custom jack-o'-lanterns that you see being displayed here. Principles of Engineering will be taking place second semester, and it's applied physics class where we look at the math and the physics behind various physical phenomenons, do experiments, and work with VEX to be able to build and test machines. Aerospace, or AE, we study aircraft, rockets, propulsions. We do simulations of satellites, uh, design and fly model rockets, and learn about uh, flight physiology. Engineering design and development is the capstone class, and research is its counterpart. Uh, in engineering design and development, students work in teams of two or three where they select a problem, they develop a solution, they come up with an idea of how to solve it, basically design an invention. They will apply for a grant to get funding. They will build and then test and then present their solution at various science fairs. Those who are in research, basically, rather than a team project, it becomes an individual project. And research, research students are students who have completed the three engineering, uh, PLTW engineering classes already and wish to come back to continue. A little bit about your student syllabus. Um, when they bring the assignment up, you'll have access to the syllabus to review with your students. The general outline is going to be the course description, the goals, materials, and typically we will be providing everything through Google Classroom the instructional units, grading, weights, and employability. So the grading scale is typically what you're used to, 90 to 100 is an A, so on and so forth. Below a 60 is considered failing. Grade weighting has changed by uh, virtue of the district. The district is now requiring that formative grades represent 40% of a student's grade and summative grades represent 60%. Now, what a formative grade is, is assignments that I give students that they can repeat until they get a 100. For example, I will provide practice quizzes which are electronic. Students can take those quizzes. They will be able to see the answers and basically practice the quizzes until they can achieve a, a good grade. Will the students be able to actually take answers from the quiz and put them back? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, I'd recommend get your formative 100 grade over with so you don't have to worry, but then practice to make sure you know the information. Uh, besides practice quizzes, there will be assignments of things we do in a class and parent communications. Parent communications will include grade sheets, which I will talk about in a little bit, or surveys that I ask to come home. Uh, summative will be in-class quizzes. 
Now, so that you know, my in-class quizzes will be exactly the same question as the practice quizzes. So if you do a good job on the practice quiz, you should do a good job in the summative quiz, okay? Uh, tests, same thing, and also employability. And I'll discuss a little bit about that, what employability in, is entailed with. Basically, I want students to consider my class as their job and they need to treat it with the respect of a job. The way the overall grades will be calculated will be uh, first quarter of the class will be 40% uh, or the first half of the class 40%, second half of the class 40%, and then the final exam will be worth 20%. Now about grade sheets. Approximately every two or three weeks, I will be sending home grade sheets. If you see that there is a zero on a student's assignment, uh, they can make up assignments. I basically allow students to turn in work up to three days before grades are due. The three days gives me enough time to be able to make sure everything's up to date. Students are expected that if they are not going to be in my class, that they email me to say I won't be in class and this has to take place before the class. This is part of employability. If they do that, they will not get a late indication on the assignment. Anything that's due at the end of the class, I will put in a grade of zero, but they will then make up that grade uh, when they can. If you do not indicate or your student does not indicate that they're going to be missing class or they simply do not do the work in class in the time it is allotted, they will have a zero with a late indication in PowerSchool and that will be like a little red square that will say this is late. Okay, if that happens, an employability penalty will take place and I'll talk a bit about that. So basically, if you're not going to be in class, let me know you're not going to be in class and you need to complete work on time to avoid employability penalties. Uh, when I give the grade sheet, it is to be taken home, signed and returned to me. That will receive a 100 for a grade sheet grade. So you will see assignments that say grade sheet. That's basically what this is. And that's either a zero, meaning it hasn't been returned or a 100. Okay, employability. Again, my class is to be treated as a, uh, as a job. So attendance and punctuality are critical. Uh, attitude, cooperation, teamwork. They're going to be working not only with me, but they'll be working with uh, other students Okay, in here. Integrity, whatever they say they're supposed to mean. If they're going to the restroom, it's only the restroom. They're not going to go to vending machines besides that. So what a student says is what they mean, and what they mean is what they say. They should be prepared for class, respectful, safe, and basically leave the facility cleaned up. If we're doing projects, they should clean up after itself. Self-management and initiative, that has to do with making sure things are turned in on time. And dress, uh, we use, uh, we have to have closed toed shoes here. So students should not be coming in in flip flops or anything like that. Sometimes we may visit other uh, classes such as building construction or automotive and it's essential that feet are covered entirely. So uh, if a student doesn't do that, Okay, they can get dinged in employability. And typically the way employability will work is at the uh, grade, I will start it off with a 100. And if there are <clears throat> infractions, they will get five points off per infraction. Wireless communication devices. If you haven't heard already, the South Carolina Department of Education has indicated that there will be no wireless communication devices in the classroom. And as a matter of fact, state funding to schools uh, can be withheld if we do not comply with this requirement. So what I am going to expect is that cell phones are to be in your backpack, not your pocket, not so that they can be pulled out or whatnot. Okay, they need to be packed away. 
uh, so they're not going to be uh, accessible. Uh, if there's special conditions such as medical apps, we'll deal with that Okay, as we're going there. There should be no wireless earbuds or headphones. If we need uh, wireless headphones, uh, if we need headphones, I will provide wired headsets that can be plugged into computers or Chromebooks. No smart watches because they are, in fact, communication devices with uh, cell phones. We will take a break about halfway through the class for about 10 minutes, use the restroom, see the vending machines, and uh, during that time in the hallway outside of the classroom, if a student wants to check their phones or make a phone call, that will be fine. Uh, offenses with regard to the cell phone, um, there is a, I have a little cell phone holder, which is basically a thing with a bunch of pockets in. If a student is caught with their cell phone, I will ask them to put it in the cell phone holder. At the end of the class, five minutes beforehand, they can come get it as it goes from there. Second offense, I will ask them to take it to the office and retrieve it at the end of class. Third offense will be to take it to the office and then have parents retrieve it. So, and uh, any offenses after that. Monitoring your students' progress, okay? I, root, I uh, pretty much every class put in grades typically the following day, but uh, you can see your students' grade in PowerSchool. So if you go to powerschool1.lexrich5.org public, you can see the students' grades. You can then, uh, you'll need access ID, which your student will obtain from their home school. Uh, you'll go to, here it is, lexrich5.powerschool.com public. Okay, you'll click on the create tab, create account, at which time you'll fill in information and you will then be able to see your student grades in all of their classes. Okay, I have some additional opportunities that students uh, can participate in. All of these are after school and they require the students to have their own transportation or you know, somebody to be able to pick them up. But the Technical Student Association, TSA, Mrs. Clapp, will be holding uh, meetings Wednesday until 6 p.m. Uh, she will also be starting up a drone club this year. So more information will come on, on about that. She's in the process of obtaining some resources related to the drone club. I have Invent Team, which is going to be on Mondays and Wednesdays, 4.30 to 6. We're going to be competing in the American Rocketry Challenge and TSA Flight Endurance. So, uh, and there will be a couple of other competitions that we will be involved with. Okay, so thanks for listening. That's kind of my overview. Uh, it's going to be a great year. And just as a reminder, in my classes, I give practice quizzes. The in-class quiz, which is done in a one-shot uh, mode, is exactly the same question. So if your student utilizes those quizzes correctly, practices them until they know that they have an appropriate level of skill, they should make excellent grades in my class. Here's to a wonderful year. <laughs>